The Characters area has all of the tools you need to create and develop characters. To create a character, just click on this button, and then you can assign them an icon so they're a little easier to get in touch with while you're writing. Give them a name, fill in some information. If you want, you can just click on that character and quite as easily delete them. They're gone. You can go to Build Characters, and here you can assign character functions. This character represents faith. This character represents disbelief. So clearly, the two of them are going to come into conflict. You can assign character motivations, purposes, methodologies, and means of evaluation. You can assign a character as an archetype, if you want. And then immediately, all of the archetypal functions will be given to them throughout all four dimensions of character. And, if you prefer, you can make a typecast character by going into the character examples and selecting one of these stereotypes. Not an archetype that's determined by function, but a stereotype that's determined by social expectation. For example, a hero. And when you do, you click on it, and now that character is assigned in the hero's role throughout the software. Other character tools include the Character Information window, which is just a shortcut to the same window we saw before, the Main Obstacle window, which gives you the opportunity to create and refine the dynamics of the relationship between the main character, who represents the audience position in the story, and the obstacle character, who represents the opposing point of view or belief system. And finally, there's a casting area, where you can select any character you've already created and give them a whole new icon. All in all, the character area provides every tool you need to structure and develop your characters.